Hey everyone, welcome back. I have a few beautiful Dollar Tree DIYs, DIY planters, room decor, home decor that I think you are going to love. And I'm also going to show you guys the girls' bedrooms as we decorate for spring and Easter. And by request, I'm sharing some super easy, adorable, and yummy Easter treats later in this video as well. I'm actually starting by covering this nightstand with a marble contact paper for Renee's room. I got the contact paper on Amazon and it is a super easy and affordable way to DIY a more high-end upscale looking piece of furniture. We actually got this one when we went shopping in Ikea last Life week. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes, driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Which this brings me to a question that I have for you guys Would you like to see a series on my channel where we do a self-care Saturday or selfie Sunday video? Something like that where I share inspirational self-care and self-love tips, tricks, ideas, recipes, and things like that I want to make mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional health a priority, and I was wondering if you guys would like to see a fun series about that here on my channel, in addition to my regular Dollar Tree DIY videos. Let me know your thoughts on it, and if you want to see it, drop some ideas for what we can name this series down in the comments below. Jumping from cliffs so high, trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my high This is also a super good deal. You get a set of two of these vases instead of $14.99. They're only $3.79 for two. I think that's an awesome deal. They remind me of something kind of anthropology inspired. So I actually love the plants that IKEA has. I always feel like even if the selection isn't the biggest, the prices always seem to be really, really reasonable. So I got this plant last spring when I filmed that bohemian style buffet table brunch video, which was so awesome. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it below for you to check out. But this plant was as small as these Ikea ones and look at how much it grew in one year. And seriously, these are super duper easy to take care of too. So I really love having these and I decided to get one for both of the girls. And I let them choose a color for their planters. So Renee wanted white with silver or rhinestone accents. So I took this planter from Dollar Tree, painted it white. You could do spray paint or chalk paint. And then while that's drying, Kylie wanted a pink planter. Planter. So while the white one is drying, I took the vintage pink chalk paint that I have and painted over this Dollar Tree planter and then set that one aside to dry as well. Now for the white one, I'm cutting strips of these adhesive bling wrap sheets that you can get in Dollar Tree. They have gold ones, pearl ones, and the silver one that I'm using. I think they also have different colored rhinestone bling wrap as well, like the silver diamond rhinestones, a, also like a fuchsia color and a teal color one. I am going with this silver one and I just alternated these on here but I cut out single long strips and then went ahead and just stuck those on. They already have a sticky backing so you could just stick it right in place. Seriously this is so super easy and inexpensive to do but it looks so high-end and now she has a planter to put her plant in to catch any water runoff. So for Kylie's, I decided to try out these rub-on transfers. I got these in Dollar Tree as well. They are really easy and fun to use and super easy. They make your projects look really cool. 
I'm curious though, have you seen them in your Dollar Tree yet? I found a ton of different ones, but only in one of the larger Dollar Tree stores in my area that actually has a whole craft supply aisle. So I'm curious if you've seen them in a store near you yet. They actually had a lot that have different lettering, but I just cut out the little floral pieces that were on these sheets and arranged them all over the planter like this. So let me know which one you like better, the white and silver planter or the pink with the gold. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star Flying over streets and all broken hearts But they can even touch us without a different beat we also did a bit of spring cleaning up, dusting, vacuuming, and organizing in Kylie's room. And she has this super cute little bunny that we got in at home store um, a week or two ago that she has for Easter. She totally loved this bunny. Kylie, what's your puppy's name? His name is like, his name is Snowball. Snowball. Because uh -huh, he looks like snow. So we were cleaning and Halmani just brought us, she made this Korean pancake with the wild green onions, but we have some in our yard and so she was able to cook and make some of these and it is very tasty. I never had this Korean dish before. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. The cat ate some. Kylie said it was very tasty before. Oh, the cat ate some. Oh, the cat ate some too? And then even though I made a huge grocery shopping trip yesterday, I had to run back and pick up the extra supplies for the Easter treats today. We already have some spring tulips and hyacinths that are just starting to come up here, which is so cool and so excited for the spring flowers coming up. Getting started now, the first treat is an Easter bark. So I melted some semi-sweet chocolate, covered my tray in parchment paper, and then spread the chocolate out on there. Now, if you're gonna be swirling in the white chocolate, which looks so pretty, try to have that melted and ready to go now. You can just kind of blob that on and then take a butter knife or a straw or something like that and swirl up and down, back and forth a few times like you see I'm doing here. And then the fun part is to decorate it with whatever Easter candies or sprinkles that you like and stick it in the fridge to chill until the chocolate is set. And then you can break it up into pieces to serve. refrigerator literally does not have much room but I squeezed it in on top of the bottles here and I think it's going to stay. <laughs> We're just gonna let that chill in there. The next one is really easy using a boxed brownie mix which Kylie loves helping measure and mix and do all the things with me in the kitchen. Brownies? What? Cup of water and cup of oil and eggs? So I spooned the batter into mini cupcake tins and then I took some Oreo cookie crumbs and sprinkled them on top of the brownie batter. Keep in mind though that after they bake, they still look pretty much the same. These, if you use that white sugary part from inside the Oreo, it literally stays like that white creamy powder sugar. Um, so you definitely wanna just go ahead and use the chocolatey crumb part so it's gonna look more like dirt. And then we just snacked on those other halves of the Oreos that had the cream filling part on them. And trust me, no one complained about getting to eat the extra Oreo halves that had the cream filling on them. So once these come out, I remove them from the pan. And while they cool off, I'm taking the Mike and Ike candies, which my grocery store only had the Easter edition of. But they're still really cute, although they didn't have any orange ones in the box for carrots. So I'm just using this kind of orangey pink color and then also the lighter pink ones to make carrots for my brownie dirt cups. And then for the stem part, I take the green ones and I just make two cuts in each end to make it kind of like an X. So you'll have four pieces. And then I cut that down the center and now I have a top for two carrots. 
Hopefully this is making sense to you. And we can just stick the candy carrots into our little edible brownie and Oreo dirt cups. And I absolutely love now how cute these are. And here's a hack for some adorable Easter cookies. Take a package of store-bought sugar cookie dough to save some time. Roll the dough into tablespoon balls, rolling them in some colored sugar now is optional. And then again, with your kitchen scissors, go ahead and slice them in half. And then two more slices, like an X shape. So the ball has six slices in it like this, kind of like a pizza pie. I let them open up a little bit and then just sprinkle some extra Easter colored sprinkles or colored sugar into the center. Bake them for about 10 to 12 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and you'll have some Easter flour sugar cookies that everyone is sure to love. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I wish you a beautiful and blessed day and I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye!